go. Let's go, Mr. Druid. You see, the grid goes purple when he has a curse and magic when he, and blue when he goes, uh, got a magic debuff. Of course, I can't dispel either one of those. The mage obviously can decurse itself, but it's not doing so because physical damage taken increased by 20. Uh, maybe I should tell him. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go no Holy Light. Holy Light is a big heal for Holy Paladin. Flash of Light is a tiny little thing. You can see on my grid too, the little green arrows. They didn't indicate how much of the tank health is gonna be. You see Flash of Light barely does like 10%, maybe 5%, but it's a very effective heal, so... I ain't complaining. So the Druid is gonna do these big pulls, he's gonna come in, I'm gonna try and uh, CC, actually I don't wanna get in melee range because some of these mobs can silence you for like 7 or 8 seconds, which usually would mean it's GG man, the tank is gonna, oh this mob is, is lovely man, did you see the pushback that I got? Did you see the pushback? Um, can really be annoying. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not really doing anything. Okay, the mage got the uh, aggro. Uh, Hunter faint death. Tank is getting a little bit. Okay, I might. Come on. Okay, I got the heal off. If the he if I didn't get the heal off, I still have Bop. Bop is like my oh crap moment. Lay your hands as a holy paladin will get someone to full HP or whatever, but it will take all of your mana out. So it's like it's like the last case scenario that you should be doing with layer hands because let's be honest if if you use a layer hands and there's still still tons of mobs in there with no mana it's basically a wipe anyways I should get some mage food man but it's going to be fine okay the uh the druid is doing the same thing okay I'm going to heal him before here you see I have divine favor activated so I did a huge heal, it cost mana, but then I got mana back. Because, remember, Holy Paladins, if your heals crit, you get the mana back from them. And Divine Favor makes your heals crit, or the next heal crit. So it's GG, man, I use it on my most expensive, best heal that I have, and that is Holy Light rank. I can't remember. I can't remember what the rank is, but... Um, Next level, I'm 36 right, 37 right now. At 38, I will be able to pick up Seal of Wisdom. So it's going to be something that I might be uh, trying to get more mana back with it. Right now, I could be using Seal of Light. Like, I could be putting on a mob. It, okay, that was completely useless. But I could be using Seal of Light, and every time people hit the mob, it will heal them. But honestly, in this caster heavy group it's not really worth it and i'm scared about going too close i'm a little bit scared about it because like i said there is a mob um oh yeah the druid is asking for drink alicious man i need drink alicious agility okay let's go i'll give you agility man Like, water is definitely pretty expensive. Um, I actually, even though mages is so strong right now, I could be one of the strongest classes. I can imagine giving water to everybody in a group can get really annoying really fast. Uh oh, so the guy pulled already. I'm behind. I don't have my divine favor. Okay, I'm in range. That's all I need. I'm using Divine Favor. The tank is... Okay, I don't need a full heal here. Flash of Light will do. Again, you can see my 5 second rule. I'm trying to get as much 5 second rule as possible. So not casting for as long as possible. And then doing a big heal. So I can regen halfway through. Again, the mage is pulling aggro. I need to account for that. I could be using Holo Light. That Flash of Light was not needed at all. I should have like... Regen. I'm actually gonna stun this mob when it's gonna start casting. Like you see here, see the light. 
So now when I hit it, I get healed a bit. And the people who hit it gets healed a bit as well. Okay, so I accidentally pulled this, which... okay. It's not great. So basically what the tank is doing here is doing a lot of line of sight pulling, which is basically the staple of classic. I think the biggest thing right now is AoE dungeon farming with mages, that's a huge, huge thing. And um, you can do that with warlocks as well. You can see the hunter is hard to keep up for a hunter in terms of the mage damage. But you'll see the jewel try to gather as many mobs as he can with moonfire. Yeah, I think he'll try to get at least five or six. You should try it. Actually, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try and get in everyone's line of sight here, and I'm gonna stay here. Hopefully, I'm not gonna pull healer aggro. I don't think I should. Actually, I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna wait for the five second rule. Okay, I'm actually in the range of that caster mob that's hitting me and giving me a pushback. I don't want that to happen. And the other mage is pulling aggro as well. Okay, I'm gonna... He's out of range for me. The other mage is getting pulled. I'm not gonna do bop. I don't need a bop. Divine Favor is coming back in 5 seconds. Am I gonna need it? Not really. Um, I can stun this as well to mitigate some of the damage. Of course, I probably should be stunning early into the fight. I should try. Okay, I'm gonna use Divine Favor. I actually probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have because I like to have Divine Favor for the start of the pull when the tank is getting hammered. But it's not gonna hurt. It's a 2 minute cooldown, which is actually pretty substantial if you really think about it. Um, you probably have seen a lot of these SM runes being done with like three mages, priest. Priest is just so handy in this because you can have a power word shield. Again, he's doing the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing as well uh, because he's gonna push it there. Okay, you see, he got chunked down. Uh, Hunter feigned that. My grid kind of failed a bit there. Uh, of course, it's a holy paladin. I am specced into holy tree. Okay, I have aggro off this guy. That's fine. Honestly, actually, I'm probably gonna go here. I can reach everybody from here as well, but I am getting pushback. If I am getting pushback, I honestly... Okay, this is screwed, man. This is screwed, we got silence for three seconds. I'm gonna stun this guy. I'm gonna heal up the mage. The mage is nearly out of mana. I'm gonna use my flash of lights. Flash of light is so great for non-tank members. I feel at least at this level. Of course, in raiding is gonna be a lot different. In raiding, you're probably gonna be trying to be as optimal as possible. And casting flash of light, I think like it's, it's rank four or rank six, uh, or go between them. But you can see this talent right here, illumination. This is the main reason I'm playing Holy Paladin right now. Because Holy Paladins was with spell crit. Remember, there's a difference between spell crit and like weapon crit. But every time I do a spell crit with a heal, I'm gonna get full mana back, a full base mana back. Which is just incredible incredible because once you start scanning, okay, divine favor, I might be it might be pretty close here. But if you get enough spell crit later down the line. The mana efficiency of Holy Paladin is going to be absolutely... Like, it's going to be unmatched, pretty much. Uh, do I need to stun anybody? I guess I could stun this... Oh, resisted. Remember, it's classic boys. Oh, I actually... Yeah, the Scarlet Wizards are the really annoying ones. They're the, like, you see the AOM doing, and it's also... I am specced in Holy, so there is like 70% chance to not lose casting when you take damage. But of course, it doesn't always work out. And the Holy Paladin doesn't have any, oh, like, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, boys. Um, Holy Paladin heals are really strong, you know, the single target healing, the efficiency is really good, but you don't have a power or shield. Power or shield is like, oh man, I, I'm kind of, I, got, I kind of got caught out, I don't know what to do, the tank is about di to die, I can't cast a two second heal, so I'm just going to use power or shield to, you know, to give me some time to catch up. You don't have that as a Holy Paladin. You're basically relying on your heal to hit, and if it gets uh, pushed back, 
There's multiple times that a target can die because of a pushback. Okay, my stun is back in two seconds. I want to get the wizard. So it doesn't do AoE. And I'm going to get out of range. Attack is taking no damage. This is a relatively small pull. I think I'm actually doing... The three members from this group are actually, I think, from a Polish guild. I think it's a Polish guild, so... Shout out to the Polish people watching. Let's do some DPS, boys. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I didn't even see that being pulled here. Okay, the mage is taking aggro. Uh, this should be fine, I'm alright with mine. I'm actually gonna wait for the 5 second rule. Okay, that's now good loot. I'm gonna wait for the 5 second rule to regen a bit. My Divine Favor is ready in legit uh, right now. Actually, I'm gonna use Divine Favor into healing Tuffy or Treffy. Okay, I think he actually ran out of my range. Okay, this is actually tilting. Uh, I can cast, but staying here seems to be out of range, but I can cast the heal. Okay, I don't know if that's... I'm not sure if that actually happens. It seemed like the mage was here and I was here and I was able to cast, but I wasn't able to connect. So you can see you can, you can have all these like line of sight issues and sometimes relying on your one heal as the holy paladin because you rely on that one slow heal a lot of the times. Not hitting it can lead to deaths and problems and things like that. Oh, I actually end up getting the chest. You can see my bags are all over the place. Like, absolutely all over the place. I'm deleting stuff because... I'm deleting stuff because... Okay, I need to pay attention. Uh, this can be a tough pull. Okay, I do have my stone, but I really... There's a Scarlet Wizard there that I want to stone. But I need to be careful, honestly. There's a lot of damage. Scarlet Wizard is dying anyways. I'm just gonna be casting my Holy Lights. Like, I would like to not cast every 5 seconds, but... You can see that it doesn't always work out. I'm just gonna heal another big heal so he doesn't have to drink. I'll just drink instead. Spirit is terrible for Paladins as well, so... Basically, like what I said about the crit... What I said about the crit, the more crit you have, spell crit, the, the higher chance of a spell critting and getting the full mana back. And the way you get crit is from intellect. So, at, even at this... Okay. Okay, I use Leia Hands, man. I use Leia Hands, man. Uh, so... You see what happened there? I got pushed back. Um, I should have anticipated for that. I should have anticipated that. Okay, I'm gonna try bop this guy. I should have anticipated it. I bubbled and uh, healed up the tank. Okay, you see, from from easy going, it becomes like okay. I'm okay. Resisted the stone. I have nothing, man. I don't have a mana pot. Nothing right now. Uh, this is. Yeah, you need to kite. You need to kite. I legit have nothing. It doesn't. Oh, this this might be a wipe. Okay, maybe not. This might be a wipe. I don't have a... Let, let's get a seal that stones. Let's get a seal that stones. I have a seal that stones this guy. Oh, that has a chance to stone. Let's see. I'm gonna heal the guy's pet. on the guy when he's healing. Okay, that was unfortunate. That was an unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> try. Oh, come on, I can get a stone here. Oh, no. So this is the part that's the shame. 
The shame of a group nearly wiping. I don't know if lay hands was the best thing there. Honestly, I feel like I should have stayed max range. It's just the mobs kind of uh, came out of nowhere. Or the mobs um, started getting close to me. And of course, I told about, I said about the wizard that there was this arcane explosion. And I got a massive pushback when the tank was about to die. Uh, casting flash of light probably wouldn't have done nothing because flash of light at this level just heals the tank for like 5%. I end up using laying hands. I probably could have just popped the tank when I think about it. I know it sounds ridiculous, popping the tank, like... Um, but I was just gonna pop the tank and then the mages would have AoE'd. I think that might have been, uh, might have been a better call. I'm not 100% certain actually. Um, All right, we didn't completely wipe, so that's 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 the. I think that's a good thing. It was a big pull as well. Let's re rebuff. Like you can see that I actually have. Like my major keybind, I'm not kidding right now. If you're gonna play, if you're going to play Holy Paladin, um, part of your rotation. Part of your rotation is. Popping, not popping, sorry, um, rebuffing. My left click and right click are actually bound to Blessing of Might and Blessing of Wisdom. Because it's 5 minutes at this level. Uh, later down the stage you will get it to um, 15 minutes, greater blessings, but the 15 minutes require additional stuff. Okay, I actually don't need Silk Cloth because, again, my bags are need to be... At, I need to have at least one empty spot. For some juicy loot that I'm gonna get from these bosses. That's what I'm saving it for. Actually, I might not need, need core stone. Okay, I need to pay attention now. I really should be... Um, I'm gonna stand here. I'm, I'm not gonna try get the last... Like last time. I don't think there is a wizard in this group. Doesn't seem like there is. Actually, I'm not gonna use the heal right now. I'm gonna wait for the 5 second rule. So I'm regening right now. Honestly, I have a lot of mana. I'm gonna use Consecration here to help out a little bit with DPS. Of course, I haven't been playing Holy Paladin that much in Classic and there's always tips and tricks that I can learn. So, if you're watching this video, leave a comment below. Tell me how I could optimize this. Like I said before, I'm not really using... Oh, that that's too intellect. Okay. I'm not re really using a lot of seals because of mana and things like that or... I can't wait to get blessing uh, or sorry seal of wisdom to really kind of engage my seal play a bit more. So I think the guy is gonna do a big um, pull. This is the last pull. I don't think he needs to pull all the way back. Oh, actually, there is quite a few people on left and right. He's gonna do a big pull here. I need to be careful here again. I want to stay max range. Okay, I need a big heal. He's getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. If I get sp uh, uh, spell pushback right now, tank's dead. 100%. I've just literally used like 5 or 6 big heals there just to get... I'm not gonna spend any mana here. I'm gonna try and stun this guy. He's trying to cast Renew. The mage is getting walloped. Is he gonna die? Yeah, he's gonna die. Okay, I'm using pop on this guy. So he's gonna be fine. The other mage just couldn't react in time, I guess. You see, I Bob is like a five minute cooldown, so I can't be very um, liberal with it. I try to. Uh, okay, this is rough a little bit. Okay, please. I have divine favor. I'm trying to get enough mana for. Okay, I don't need mana for this. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Okay, I'm actually going to use it here, which doesn't really matter. Again, that was unfortunate. The mage got a little bit too close to it. There was nothing really I could do. I don't feel bad about that there at all. It ain't my fault, or at least... Oh, that was too fast. Like, the mage died in... In basically two seconds, less than two seconds. I wish Druids would have a res ability. It's a lot of my mana gone, and I'm running out of food as well. 
As you can see, I'm using like rank one of battle res or res ability because I just haven't upgraded it. Again, spells cost so much gold, and you have to really pick the spells that you really want to get, especially as a paladin. I'm sure other classes don't have as many spells as a paladin. I guess the main reason why paladins get a free mount is because they have to spend so much money on spells. I guess. I would love to hear how you feel about the free mount because I can't wait for the free mount in a couple of levels. Okay, I'm not sure what the tank is doing here. Is he bringing it back? He's not. He's not bringing it back. He's just tanking it there. Which is fine, but I wish I kind of knew it beforehand. Again, there is... The mage is pulling aggro. I should have CC. I, I should have CC that guy. You see, for everyone, everyone else but the tank, flash of light is more than enough at this level. But for the tank, it really needs holy light here, because it really flash of light doesn't really do a whole lot. But it, like I mentioned, in raid scenarios, it's gonna be a whole lot of difference because it's gonna be a lot different because holy light doesn't really come into play in raids a lot. It's just basically spamming flash of light. So if you're looking for an easy healer to play you can't get any easier than holy paladin at this given moment because it is basically to some extent one or two button spam you have things like divine favor but that's about it you do have seals and you can alternate between seal of light you can alternate between seal of wisdom basically in raid scenarios or in mythic plus mythic plus scenarios or five man scenarios but that's about it like okay i need to pay attention here this is gonna be. I might be pushed back here. Uh, I'm. Okay. You see, the tank is getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. I wanna get the wizard and stun him. So it doesn't do this AoE. There you go, I got the wizard. But, you know, it is scary. This, this pull or the wizard is scary in this. That's one of the reasons why I don't go into melee. There's absolutely no reason for me to go into melee at this given moment. Because if I go, go into melee, I'll definitely get a spell pushback. I haven't seen better tanking so far in Classic. Tank is, is a god, dude. Druid's definitely super impressive. Definitely super impressive, especially this Druid. It makes me kind of want to play Druid. Okay, so this guy's gonna pull the boss and the mobs are gonna come out from the room at the same time. So I want to kind of stay line of sight, but also at the same time, I don't want to stay when the mobs come down here. In case of a stone, okay, okay. Okay, that was... I don't know how the mage pulled everything there. I don't know what the mage did. I need to be careful here because this is a, a really long fight. Okay. Don't go out of line of sight, please. Please. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Please. Ah. <sighs> Okay, please. Okay, this was as scuffed pull as possible. I'm basically nearly out of mana. I do have Divine Favor happening right now. And I want to get a big holy light here on the tank. And I'm going to get the mana back for it. I'll put some flashlights. You can see that the tank has this debuff. This debuff increases the damage that it, it takes. Okay, I need to regen mana here. For a holy light. Can I drink in between? No. Okay, I'm regening mana right now for a big holy light. I'm trying to get as much mana as possible. Before the... Okay, now I'm going. It's only gonna be the tank who should be taking damage. So, okay, maybe not. I don't know why the mage is taking damage here. Okay, I regen quite a bit of mana, that's all fine now. Of course, there's a silence here. Arise, my champion. At your side, I got a ton of mana back, so I'm just gonna heal up everybody. I'm not gonna be greedy here. Oh. 
I'm gonna try and get Seal of Light. Actually, no. Okay, there is a lot of damage. I'm gonna try again. Another Seal of Light going here. I'm gonna try to refresh it. Every hit is gonna refresh it from me. You see? It's getting refreshed. Boom, 10 seconds. And Ding Galicious. Now, I don't think anyone actually needs this helm, so I would like to need. I don't need this. And now I am a proper, proper healer with the cloth intellect gear. This gives you 14. 14 intellect of course i can't wear it right now yet because i'm not 39 yet there's another boss here that you need to click here and this gets unlocked again they're actually beating it i'm gonna try and stun it my blessing of wisdom is not on me or anybody this guy's gonna heal good stun by the druid and this is gonna drop 14 attack power leather that i don't need anyways this was a small little video of Holy Paladin healing. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed out on. I haven't been playing Holy Paladin for very long, but I'm really enjoying Classic so far, even though this is a simplistic class in general. I still feel there's enough depth for it, or once I get enough spell crit, we never go oom and GG priests. Or at least I hope so, because if you want a more, more uh, complicated class, I think Priests in general are probably a good choice right now because they just have so many different abilities when compared to Holy Paladins. But thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know how you like this kind of run through. Let me know if you feel I should do more of this kind of thing. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should stop with the classic content and concentrate on retail. I don't know. Let me know guys and I'll see you in my next guide. <laughs>